Every year, over 200,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer in the U.S. Up to 60% of men suffer some degree of urinary incontinence after their prostatectomy, with one-third of patients reporting use of absorbent pads one year following their surgery. If you are still dealing with urinary incontinence more than 12 months after your prostate surgery, you may be a candidate for surgical treatment. Stress urinary incontinence is the involuntary loss of urine due to physical strains such as coughing, sneezing, or heavy lifting. The amount of leakage you experience after prostate surgery may be different than someone else. Men have two bladder outlet valves or sphincters to help prevent urine leakage. When the prostate is operated on, part or all of one sphincter is removed. If there is damage to the second sphincter or nerves during the prostatectomy, incontinence may result. After prostate surgery, you may not be able to prevent the flow of urine during times of strain. The PROACT therapy works by implanting two balloon devices where your prostate was removed to help replace the support it provided. The devices support your bladder by providing pressure that helps keep the bladder outlet closed during moments of physical activity. Patients have a few options to treat their incontinence. Many patients use pads or other collection devices to manage their incontinence. If you are still incontinent 12 months after your prostate surgery, there are three surgical options for the treatment of your incontinence. An artificial urinary sphincter, or AUS, consists of three components, pump, bulb, cuff, and balloon. The cuff stays inflated, closing off the urethra until you operate the pump to urinate. The cuff mimics the function of your sphincter that may be damaged after prostate surgery. The implantation procedure involves an invasive surgery requiring open dissection. Manipulation of the pump bulb is required each time you urinate. A sling is made of mesh that is implanted in the body around the urethra to provide support to the bladder. The sling acts as a hammock to reposition and support the urethra. The sling implantation procedure requires surgery and involves an open dissection to anchor the sling. After surgery, the surrounding tissue grows into the mesh. Prolac balloons made of medical grade silicone are implanted in the place of your prostate on both sides of your urethra. The balloons provide pressure and support to your bladder, helping your urethra stay closed during physical activity. The implantation procedure involves a minimally invasive surgery to place the balloons. The PROACT therapy can be adjusted in the office by your doctor to best meet your needs with no further surgery required to adjust the balloons. Each PROACT device consists of an expandable silicone balloon, tubing, and a port used for device adjustments. Every patient is implanted with two of the devices. The PROACT devices are placed through two small incisions underneath your scrotum. A delivery tool is inserted through the incision and guided to the location your prostate was removed. A PROACT device is delivered through the tool and inflated with a small amount of fluid. A device is then placed on the other side of your urethra and inflated. The filling ports are placed underneath the skin of your scrotum and the incisions are closed using two or three stitches for each incision. Patients are discharged on the day of the surgery. You will be asked to urinate before discharge to make sure you are still able to urinate normally. Your doctor may prescribe oral antibiotics for a period of time following the procedure. You should avoid strenuous activity immediately after your surgery as directed by your physician. Ask your doctor for personal instructions. Contact your doctor if you experience redness, swelling, or drainage of the incision site or are unable to urinate. You may be continent or greatly improved immediately after the procedure, but often this improvement will lessen as you heal from the procedure and the swelling reduces. Most patients require multiple adjustments to the devices to achieve their desired level of continence. You may still need to use pads until your devices are fully adjusted. Most patients need two to four adjustments for best results. Adjustments may begin six weeks after the PROACT implantation procedure. Speak with your doctor about scheduling your first PROACT adjustment visit. 
At your adjustment visit in the office, your urologist will place a small needle through the skin into the port to add or remove fluids. Once you reach your desired level of continence, no further adjustments are required. The risks of the PROACT therapy include, but are not limited to, injury to the bladder or urethra during the implantation procedure, movement of the devices from their intended location, damage to the tissue of the bladder or the urethra caused by the device, infection, and persistent urinary incontinence. Speak with your urologist for additional information on the risks involved with the PROACT procedure and the other surgical options for the treatment of your incontinence. The PROACT therapy may be right for you if you still have incontinence 12 months after your prostate surgery and have not responded to conservative therapies such as Kegel exercises. PROACT may not be right for you if you are receiving radiotherapy treatments, have received radiotherapy treatments in the last six months, plan to receive radiotherapy within the next six months, have bladder cancer, or have a bleeding disorder. You will need to speak with your urologist to determine if PROACT is a good option for you. The PROACT procedure and any adjustments to the device are covered by Medicare and Medicare replacement plans. If you do not have Medicare, pre-authorization from your insurance will be required. There may be other expenses including anesthesia and medication costs that will be discussed with you before your procedure.